So I read Jake White's All Out Rugby column and I cringed. Not that Jake White, but that the complexity of the problem he was trying to find a solve for. In his column, White suggests that the box should pick a predominantly black squad from locally based players for the June test against Wales in Washington. We link the article in the description. But the gist of it is that White argues that this is a way for bar coach Rassi Erasmus to exploit SA Rugby's strategic transformation plan to his advantage. White names a 15 that will probably get smoked by Wales and then argues that another more experienced group should be at home preparing for the England series. The fundamental issue I have with a plan like this is that it's an assault on identity. It creates an us and them situation where the us being the black players will be perceived as lesser than. How on earth does assault and identity pass as an acceptable vehicle to achieve transformation? But the strategic transformation plan conceived by amateur administrators at SA Rugby sets black players up for just that. My position has always been that any successful transformation plan needs to have its primary focus at school level. I was disgusted to see many of SA's top rugby schools filled almost entirely white 15s at the various Easter school festivals. It's 2018, I'm convinced that these Oaks just don't give a fuck. Fundamentally, that's where SA Rugby must intervene and create opportunities for the cream to rise to the top, irrespective of skin color. But they seem to fear rugby's superpower schools. Who cares what they think? They don't get to dictate policy, especially if that policy has the aim of creating opportunities for kids those schools were allowed to marginalize for so long. Look, my instinct is that White was honestly trying to offer a solution to a very complex situation. But White fails to account for the unintended assault on identity the players in the US group will suffer. Rugby players, and for the purposes of this piece, black rugby players are humans first and foremost. And as humans, they have a fundamental right to dignity. They should never be stripped of it by a plan that dehumanizes them. 